Mr. Brainwash, lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you too. So tell me a little bit about this art installation behind us that you're currently working on, literally seconds before we started talking. Uh, just, uh, just a little representation of uh, me uh, being here, you know, in a studio that uh, has never been finished, really, but uh, it's like a installation, like always. I just cut his hair. His hair was like uh, too much hair, so I cut him to look a little bit better. A little bit more realistic. So every time I, when I'm around, I, f I do things. I work. I make something happen. I never stop. Like I said, this museum is alive. What means alive? That I'm alive, so the museum is alive because I'm here and I, I, I don't stop making things better and better and better. You're truly passionate. Where, where do you draw your ideas from? The idea is it's part of my life, you know. Where do you find uh, the air to breathe? You know, the air is everywhere. That's the way I'm built, you know. I'm uh, I just, you know, creative every moment of the day. You know, every day is, uh, is another day and every minute there is something in my head that I look and I want to do. That's awesome. Uh, so, you know, different countries perceive art differently. Uh, do you take it into account, like the location that you'd like to put an art installation before even creating it? No, no. Art is art, point. You know, art can be anywhere and everywhere. You know, like uh, it could be in a museum, it could be outside, it could be uh, somebody's house, it could be uh, anywhere. For me, it starts with art, art. Art, it's a freedom of expression. So you express yourself and you, you make it happen. You enjoy it. What do you think Andy Warhol would think of your work? Uh, I don't know, but uh, I, uh, I, um, I think uh, that I'm very passionate of, of what I do and uh, I don't stop and I will never stop. So it's only the beginning of it. You know, I'm one of the first uh, uh, and the world to open his own museum. You know, it's never happened before. With himself, like, I mean, the whole work, it's, it's what I do. Well, and while working, literally minutes, while it's taking place. Yes, yeah. exactly. You know, so it's like, a, I feel a very, uh, very uh, thankful and very grateful that uh, I see it. You know, like some people never see it. So uh, you have to wait till you die to be in a museum. I changed the rules. I made it before. So you call yourself Mr. Brainwash. Um, is that because you want to, people to think about art a certain way? Or is that because you want people to maybe realize they have been brainwashed at some point in their life? Everybody is brainwashed. You know, it's part of life. You know, when you're born, you're brainwashed, you know. What kind of shoes you're gonna wear, what this, what that, what kind of m milk you're gonna drink, you know, like uh, everything, uh, we're living in a brainwash world. And um, the name didn't mean anything at that time, but in the end, it means something today, you know. What do you, think, like, what do you hope the lasting impact of your art will be? To be happy. You know, to make people enjoy, you know, that life is beautiful for everyone. And it's fun, you know, we have to make it fun. You know, the, this whole thing about this museum today, it's just people happy, you know, coming from every age, from small to old, to, to young, to, to anything. I mean, everybody comes out with a happy face and, and, and they really like, uh, are happy, you know? And some people, they come every week. I see them, oh yeah, no, yeah. This is the thing that they want to do every week. Every Sunday they come in here. It's like a normal thing because it's evolving. So there is things that last week that some people didn't see because I put it this week. You know, so there is a lot of things moving, you know, and that's the fun part of it. The museum is alive. And after this building, 
I'm gonna travel. You know, I'm gonna have this museum travel and change a little bit where I travel. And uh, and five years from now, I'll come back to LA, and uh, and I'll be permanent somewhere. That it's private. That I'm doing it right now. I'm. Um, I'm I find the space, I'm working on it. It's gonna be five years of construction and after I'll, I'll be in the real museum. You know, I mean, the, the museum forever. Well, thank you so much. It was lovely to meet you. Thank and you thank you for much. being on Fab TV. Thank you. We love you, we love you. Life is beautiful. Life is beautiful. Hey!